Today I am going to show you how to match the subject with the new background. It's so easy and we will also learn two more additional compositing and color grading tricks to make your composite much more seamless and make them blend together to get much better results. So without wasting any time, let's start. Hi, welcome to PS Desire Photoshop and Photography Tutorials. So let's back to the video. So here we are in the wonderful world of Photoshop. And if you want to download this tutorial image and follow along with me, the link in the description. Keep in mind, the subject is already cut out. So here we have the background and on top of it, we have a subject layer. If I turn that on, the subject will show up. It's already cut out by the way. If you want to learn how to cut out subjects, there are lots of videos on YouTube and also in my channel. Now all you need to do is, this is very simple, create a curves adjustment layer. So click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose curves. Now whatever we do inside the curves adjustment layer will not affect the whole image. Make sure the curves adjustment layer is click put to the just the subject and to do that we need to create a clipping mask just click on this button in the curves properties and now whatever we do inside of curves will will be limited just to the subject alternatively what you can do you can also hold the alt or option key and click on the line between these two layers it also creates a clipping mask now coming to the trick all you need to do is look at the bright area dark area and mid tone of the background the highlights the shadows and the mid tones of the background not the subject. So have a look at the eyedropper with the black tip which means it stands for shadows. So double click on that. Make sure the sample is current and below and sample size 5 by 5 or 3 by 3. Pick the darkest color in the background. So what is the darkest color? This one right? But it's picking white. Why is that? Well cancel it and make sure the curves adjustment layer symbol is selected not the mask so black tip dark area sample the dark area this is fine here and do you want to set this as default now if you don't set these colors as default so next time you create a curves adjustment layer or maybe come back to this curves adjustment layer later and check the colors. The colors will be reverted back to previous defaults. So for now the moment let's set this as defaults and now we have set the black point to this color to the black point of the background. White tip double click on that one and pick a color which is the brightest in the background. So in the background this color is the brightest that's fine and hit ok. Let's save this as default Double click on the middle, what would be grey in the background. Now this color is fine or maybe a little lighter color right there. That is ok, just hit ok. Right. Now we have all these three droppers mapped. All you need to do is very simple, just click on the highlight, shadows and midtones of the subject. Just three click. Let's select the white one with a white tip eyedropper tool and select the brightest area of the subject which is this. Select the one with the black tip and click on the darkest area of this subject. You might want to try clicking on some other areas as well and and the midtones what would have been grey if it was lit with neutral color or click on any midtones maybe this area maybe you might want to just try different areas that works amazingly this is done so here is the before here is the after so easily we have matched the subject with that of background now you can do a lot of things to make a composite blend even better one of my favorite ways is adding a global effect just like the color lookup adjustment layer so click on adjustment layer icon and let's choose color lookup now people apply this both to the subject and the background now let's add some warmth to it let's create 
double click on the right hand side of the layer just right here this will open up the layer styles dialog box and then take the slider of the underlying layer from left to right just like that now we need to separate the slider so that we get a smooth transition so hold the alter option click on the sliders to set them apart and now separate them easy and hit ok let's have a look at the before and after so this was before and not matching at all we added the curves adjustment layer we added color lookup adjustment layers it's looking amazing now now let me show you one more trick how about using depth of field to make the composite even more realistic that would be fun so first of all select the background layer make a copy of this one by pressing ctrl or command plus j now let's convert it into a smart object go to filter convert for smart filters and then hit ok that way we can change the values of the blur later now we will apply maybe to shift blur to let's go to filter blur gallery and then tilt shift now in tilt shift blur anything between these two lines or at blur zero from this line that the dotted line the blur goes from 0 to whatever number you choose so 0 to 15 from this line to dotted line so we wanted to blur gradually from 0 to maybe something like a higher number let's choose something like 80 pixel or maybe let's choose 75 that's fine that's great if you want you can add a little bokeh effect here and there you can do that but in this case it will be a little bright spots so let's not do it and hit ok right there it's looking amazing at this point but then again we have to add some blur to the subject as well because the subject is looking very hard and the background is soft so to do that first of all let's convert the subject to smart object and in this one we will apply fill blur so let's go to filter blur gallery and then field blur with field we will take this blur point to face we don't want face to be blurred and therefore we will just decrease the blur to zero pixels now we want this area to be little more blurry so let's add a point right there and then let's click to add a point and increase the blur a little bit that blur is fine maybe a little more blur over here let's click a point there and add some blur easy let's do a little bit over here as well let's add some blur nice maybe here less blur here at the top a little blur that works fine maybe we will add a little on the side as well great just make sure the eyes and the mouth are in focus now once you are happy with the results you can always hit ok so now with the blur it looks so much more realistic so without the blur and with the blur it's matching with that of the background even in the background without the blur and with the blue it looks so much more better so here is before and here is after so that's how you match this subject with the new background with just three clicks inside of curves adjustment layer we set those eyedroppers and we map them to the background shadows midtones and highlights and then we click on the subject shadows midtones and highlight and one thing i prefer personally is that i do the shadows and highlights first and then click on the midtones right i hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe or not just subscribe ring the bell so that you don't miss any future tips tricks or tutorials thank you so much for all your support thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my next video till then stay tuned take care